come to the nation. We offer our prayers for the church, the world, and all people in need. For Christ's church on earth, and for those who proclaim the good news of the kingdom, that all divisions cease, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For sky and sea, fish and bird, and the beauty of the whole creation, that God's goodness be seen through our everyday surroundings, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For our political and social leaders, that they use their power justly, and for all the nations of the world, that peace and understanding prevail, let us pray. Have mercy, O God. For all who call upon the Lord for help, those dealing with gloom or anguish, those who are afraid, those suffering from malaria or other illnesses, especially those we now name. We lift up for your healing touch, Lord, baby Declan and her family, John and Lucy Rizzicano, Gil Stahl and family, Keith, Jim, Barbara, Marilyn, Joanne, Reagan, Terry, Mike, Joyce, Dee, Dean, Peg, Betty, Gary, Adeline, Virginia, Dave, Pastor Randy Schutz, who suffered a massive stroke last week, Emily, Anne, Michelle, Walter, John, Eugene, Ed, Douglas, Bill, Susan, Dorothy, Lois, Lyndon, Gibson, Nancy, Keith, Devona, <coughs> Jessica, and George. And we give prayers of thanksgiving for the healing that has come to Karen Pye. And Nikki Engel. And for those who seek shelter, that God provide them with compassionate caregivers and advocates, let us pray. For the followers of Jesus Christ gathered here, that we be guided by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the cross as the power of God, let us pray. Loving God, we ask that you would hold our loved ones in the military in your loving care. <clears throat> Especially we pray for Molly, Caleb, Robert, Matthew, Nathan, and Chris. Let us pray. In thanksgiving for the faithful departed, that their witness to the spread the God's word inspire us in our duty, doing. Let us pray. Radiant God, hear the prayers of your people, spoken or silent, for the sake of the one who has made his dwelling among us, your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's hear a sign of God's peace. <laughs>
life and light of all. By your powerful word, you created all things. Through the prophets, you called your people to be a light to the nations. Blessed are you for Jesus, your son. He is your light, shining in our darkness and revealing to us your mercy and might. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. By your Spirit, bless us and this holy meal, that refreshed with this heavenly food, we may be light for the world, revealing the brilliance of your Son. Amen. And so in confidence we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, take hold of the life that really is life. Come and take your place at the table of the Lord. Um. Thank you. 